it's another Matchbox review, so please stick around. everyone so today's matchbox is the Coolgans plastic matchbox Firestarter Flint on bottom and give you a look at the uh, the carding okay let's get it off here now I have several of these already. Uh, you might have seen one or a similar one in my video on making a four season fire kit. All right, there is the striker on the bottom. It's just basically a tiny ferrule rod and it pokes up enough to where this won't set, you know, evenly. <laughs> it kind of tilts at an angle. Now, these ferrule rods, these tiny ferrule rods, are not that great. They're hard to get a good strike on. Um, you know, whether or not it's effective or not, that's really opinion. Uh, if this is all I had and I had to use it, I would take the back side of my knife or something and I would gently scrape some shavings off of here without creating a spark and make a little pile of shavings and then try to spark and uh, make a fire that way if this was empty of matches. So let's get started shall we? Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do some measurements real quick. So overall length that includes that protruding ferrule rod is 3.0835 inches or 78.32 millimeters diameter of the main body is 26.09 millimeters or 100 or 1.0270 inches okay now you've got molded in a very positive grip you've got a flat rubber gasket right here that this compresses down on the threads are pretty fine um, you know it is what it is now let's get the inside diameter inside diameter looks like 0 0.8095 of an inch or 20.56 millimeters let's do the depth depth is 69.86 millimeters of the main body or 2.7505 inches now with that, as you see with that screwed down on there, you have a little gap here in the top, but not a huge one. Okay, let's go ahead, let's uh, get a weight on this. You gotta watch it, those fine threads, if you go too fast with that, you'll cross thread it and mess it up. That's about my one big criticism with this. All right. All right, let's set it to pounds. Let's do pounds first. Half an ounce or 14 grams, empty. 
That'll do. Alright. Let's check and see what matches we can fit in here and how many. Let us start with our Strike Anywhere Common Wooden Kitchen Match. Oh yeah, they fit with a nice gap. See that? Let me load this up and leave enough room for a striker. And we'll see how many we can get in here. Probably a good amount by the looks of it. Okay. So we got a little bit of a gap there. I could probably fit a few more. Let's do that. Okay. There's still a gap there. You could fit a striker. So uh, let's see how many matches we got here. about 22 matches not terribly bad we've got our Yuko waterproof matches let's see if we got room for these ooh just barely let me put the lid on there to make sure it's not going to crush it hear that so there's just enough room for a Yuko waterproof match. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get them all in there. I don't think I'll be able to get all that I have in there, but we'll be able to get some. All right. All those and a striker pad. I could probably fit another match or two in there, and that works out to be uh, about 14 matches with a striker pad, Yuko waterproof storm matches, about 14. Not too bad at all. Okay. So let's talk about the current price. This item on Amazon right now is $1.98. Um, I've seen these as cheap as a dollar, depending on where you shop, different sporting goods stores, and I've seen them branded all different brands, not just Colgan's. I've seen this exact same container with the Flint uh, branded as Field and Stream at different uh, stores. So I mean, there's a lot of different brands that carry this. It's just not Colgan's, all right? They've been around for quite a while too. I can remember buying one of these, like, God, eight, nine years ago. So they've been around. So let me go grab the water. We're gonna do a water test. Okay, I have a paper napkin here. I have our match case. I'm going to fold this paper mac ma bleh, paper map <laughs> napkin and roll it up and we're going to stick it in this match case. And we're going to see if we get any leakage. Okay. There's the paper napkin in there. Don't want to There we go. And I'm going to crank down. <clears throat> I've cranked down pretty hard on that rubber seal. Now I'm pretty sure this is going to float. And yes, it floats. So we're going to give that a couple hours or more. And I'll bring you back and we'll see if we have any leakage. It's been a good two and a half hours. I'm ready to pull this out. Lightly dry it off. We will see, did it stay waterproof? Let's find out. Uh, 
Uh, it looks pretty dry. Yep. Success. All right. Well, let me get things cleaned up here. And uh, I'll bring you back for my final thoughts. Well, you know, it doesn't get much simpler than this. A real simple match case. Cheap, you know, right around two bucks on Amazon. Like I said, you can get it cheaper. I'm just drying off the gasket. There's a little bit of residual water around there. You can get it cheaper in stores than you can on Amazon. Like I said, I've seen this in different sporting goods stores. I've even seen them occasionally at Walmart. Really simple. Another reason why I wanted to pick one of these up is I read somewhere that these make great containers for an 18650 battery. Look at that. So I could seal up and keep it safe from the water and everything, a charged 18650 battery. So I could change that out for my flashlight or whatever device I'm using out in the woods. So for two bucks, well worth it. Only thing you gotta really watch out for is that fine thread. That fine thread, you can cross thread this cap. In fact, I keep having to back thread. That's when you go to put this on and you feel it's not right, so you turn it the other way until you feel the threads line up and then put the cap on. That's about the only thing you can watch out for. What I said previously about this little ferro rod still stands true. You know, they're not very good. In fact, let me see. Got something here with a little bit of an edge to it. You see a little bit of a spark. But that's like tiny. If that's all you had, you could probably make it work. But God, what a mess it would be if that's all you had. Keep it full of matches, you know. And that's all I got to say about the Colgan's Plastic Matchbox. It gets a thumb up, it works, it floats in water, and it's waterproof if you tighten down the cap. Well, more could you ask for? So, I will see you all later out in those woods, and thank you for watching.